are some popular music festivals coming up in England, and so it's making the news that some of them are going to be using facial recognition scanners to identify the 100,000 or so people that are in attendance using real-time face scanning and then running those face prints through databases not only to identify everybody in attendance, but to also compare those face prints to people who have a warrant or people who have been identified as possible disruptors in order for security to keep a close eye on them. Of course, this is old news to many of us, 15 year old news. In fact, I'll show you some of the uh, previous instances of this and how they have been testing this for 15 years. This out of Mashable, Big Festival Brother? What summer music festivals are doing with your personal data. Of course, this has been happening for years, happening in the United States as well. This from The Week. Boston police used facial recognition software on thousands of people at the music festival, at the Boston Calling Music Festival back in 2013. Again, so tweaking and testing this now full-blown commercially available face scanning system. And, of course, it was being tested 15 years ago at the Super Bowl. This is an article from 2001 from Wired Magazine where they admitted that at the Super Bowl that year, police were testing this kind of software in order to identify people who had warrants out for their arrest. So it looks like the bugs have been worked out. This commercially available face scanning software is now just full-blown going mainstream. In fact, there, there are rumors and allegations that retailers in America are using this, store, this kind of software, like big box retailers, and it'll probably become commonplace unless, unless we stand up and speak out against it, uh, to have big box stores like Target and Walmart and shopping malls start scanning everybody who steps foot onto the property. In fact... Here's an article from three years ago from NPR, National Public Radio, that admits that high-end stores in Los Angeles have been using facial recognition scanners in order to identify celebrities that walk in the door so that when a celebrity steps foot, if they're not recognized by the staff, they won't get ignored or they won't be treated like they're just a, a tourist you know, who just happened to step into the store off of Rodeo Drive. So, yes, high-end stores using facial recognition tools to spot VIPs. There's other articles. I should create a playlist for facial recognition scanners, but I think it's in the Big Brother playlist, about restaurants using this, shopping malls using this to identify people who have been arrested and banned from malls for shoplifting. So it's probably only a matter of a couple years when we're going to start seeing big box retailers like Target who have now openly invited sexual predators to come into the women's bathroom uh, to roll this kind of system out as a supposed solution to try to keep people safe in their stores. And the privacy implications, of course, are enormous because now soon you won't be able to walk into a store or really down the street or to a public protest uh, without being identified and cataloged. In fact, the facial recognition software on Facebook uh, two years ago was as accurate as a human. Okay, So by everybody uploading their uh, pictures of their friends and family and then tagging them with their name, they taught the AI system in Facebook who those people were. And so the AI learned... Uh, the, the different people in uh, in different lighting, uh, at different ages, in different at different angles, and so they literally have given their friends and family's face print over to Facebook, who then of course has a back door into the through the NSA and the CIA and the FBI, etc. So just a heads up, continuing to document this as I've been doing for ten years now. I talked about facial recognition, I guess, 11 years ago in my book, The uh, Resistance Manifesto. So in detail, if you're just getting up to speed, if you're just kind of coming down the rabbit hole and you want to you know, really get up to speed, I encourage you to pick up my book, Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True. It came out three years ago, but it's more accurate even today. It continues to get proven more and more accurate as Facebook 
has just been caught manipulating the trending topics feature, something that we've been talking about here on this YouTube channel for years now, as we've been highlighting the dangers of this Orwellian social media. So if you like my YouTube channel, I hope you'll take the next step and support my work. Go pick up one of my books in paperback on Amazon.com. Download them onto your tablets from any of the major ebook stores. Subscribe to my YouTube channel here if you're new. Check out some of the previous videos in the playlist. And stay tuned. More videos coming soon.